now 13, the carb-free diet has done wonders for him. He still struggles when he's congested with losing his speech for short periods of time, or we call it getting wobbly. But in looking at where he could be with this disease, he's doing very well. However, the peripheral nerve damage Alex suffered during his first two years of life is permanent. He has some mild motor problems uh, in terms of when you watch him walk, it's not 100% normal, but functionally it is. That means that he can basically go do things that he wants to do on a day-to-day -day basis, and that's what I care about. He's able to act like a child. I play basically every sport in our backyard that's possible, and I just love playing sports. If Alex were to stray from the diet, the effects would be devastating. I would think the consequences would be most likely affecting his nervous system and possibly something affecting the brain directly, which could be seizures or further brain degeneration. But for such a deadly disorder, the Salem's had to wonder why it couldn't be diagnosed earlier. Alex initially presents with basically a peripheral nerve problem. When x-rays were done of his brain, his brain looked perfectly normal. It's only when he had that sudden deterioration and then he showed up the excess acid in the blood that was present that basically opens people's eyes to say there was something more going on than that. Alex is pretty much writing the book as to what is potentially possible for people with this disease or on a long-term ketogenic diet. Many times people will ask us, how do you do that? How do you have a child on this special diet? How do you manage living with this every day? Isn't that difficult to cook differently? Look at his face. As his parent, my choice is to say this is too hard or this is difficult. I would walk on hot coals. It's not hard. It's for Alex. Doctors knew that Alex Salem was sick, even if they didn't know why. 